Hi guys, today I wanted to do the video about uh, PID tuning but the outside is very strong wind so I'm not sure if it will be possible. So at least a little bit of theory uh, how I do the pit tuning. I, I'm starting with uh, lower D's and my testing procedure is do some uh, throttle punch outs and rolls and flips and see if the at the end of the flip or roll is a bounce back. If there is a bounce back, I'm increasing the P until not as long as it helps. So, simply spoken, go fly, try some roll, watch for the bounce back. If there is a bounce back, increase the P about five points, do the same again. If the situation is improved, continue with the increasing the P until until the bounce back is uh, completely gone or you are starting to see some uh, P oscillations. Um, when I do the roll I go the same for the pitch and at the end I try to tune the D's. Basically I tune the D's in, uh, in the prop wash so I try to induce the prop wash so I do some sharp turns, I'm flying to the disturbed air and uh, bumping the D up until it helps. I almost never touching the E, the I component. Also in the beginning I set the anti-gravity factor to 3 and on throttle punch outs I'm looking for the nose of the copter if it's moving up or down and also for the roll if the quad is leaning left or right. Uh, if so, I'm increasing the, the I term on a given axis. So this is my very simple approach to PID tuning. And so far it's uh, working pretty good for me. Uh, the wind is still strong but I'll try to do some flying and demonstrate how how I tune the PIDs. Let's fly a bit and see what's happening. Let's try some roll. Yeah, there is a definitely visible bounce back. What about the pitch? Also bounce back. So we will be increasing the piece on both axes. So let's land and I increase it via menu so I set the roll P to 50 and pitch P to 65. I also de decrease the D to 25 on roll because the defaults are too high for me I think and pitch I decrease to 30. Okay, let's arm. Do the roll. Much better. Still a little bit of bounce, but much less than on the beginning. Let's do some flips. Yeah, flip is also better.
So a little bit on roll and pitch. So I increase roll P to 55 and add pitch P to 68 arm. What about the nose dip on punch? I'm flying against the wind. Yeah, maybe a little bit on roll. You see the dip. To add eye and maybe also on pitch. A little bit. But this this could be also caused by the wind. So yeah, but the nose is not stable as I want it. Maybe also a roll needs a little bit more P. So I add roll P to 60 overall and increase the I to 45 and pitch I increase to 70 and pitch I to 55 arm The pitch is still a little bit wobbling, but it could be caused by the wind and my TPU mount is a little bit soft, I think, so the vibrations from the HD camera. Low battery, 13.5 volts. So change the battery and do some V checks. So now I try some sharp turns. Uh, fly in the disrupted air. Uh, DVTX still switches to pit mode. I don't know why. Hmm. 
So I am now looking for the prop wash handling. Oh my, this part is fast. Yeah, you can see the, uh, you can you can hear the sound of the prop wash, but no oscillations, no wobbling. So the quad is handling the prop wash quite well already. In the wind, I think it's performing very nicely. So I will not touch these at this point. Low battery, 13.6. Nope, I will not touch the D's. I'm very happy with the current setting. Also, there are not, there are no mid throttle oscillations at all. And also, when I punch the throttle up, there are no oscillations. So the P's are not overtuned. It's a little bit unstable on the punch out, but the wind is really strong. The rolls are good, I think. I try increase the on pitch a little bit more so pitch I'll go for 75 hello my friend I think it's better. And my my FPV camera is messed up from the grass. Uh, I switch the battery and do some final flight.
This battery was charged only to storage voltage, so this fight was a little bit short, shorter than I expected. But uh, the weather and the wind is not so, how to say, enjoyable flying. <laughs> <laughs>